Okay, here's another tricky question. The question says, if you write all the whole numbers from 1 to 500 in a row, what will be the 500th digit? So basically, what the question is saying is you should write 1, 2, 3, all the way up to the number 500. Which of these numbers will contain the 500th digit? Or in other words, what will the 500th digit be? Meaning, 1 is the first digit, and then 2 is the second, 3 is the fourth, and so on. Okay? Which digit is going to be number 500? Now, of course, it is um, almost impossible to actually write down all the numbers from 1 to 500 and then count until you find the 500th digit. That would take so much time and you will probably get mixed up somewhere down the road. So there must be an easier way. Let's take a look. Now, before I start, let me just um, revise something really quickly with you. Let's say we have a group of numbers. Let's say from 1 to 5. How many numbers are there from 1 to 5? Well, you can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five numbers. Now, is there an easier way to do this so I don't get mixed up? Well, yes. It's always the big number minus the small number plus 1. You see, from 1 to 5, 5 minus 1 is 4, plus 1, 5 numbers. Let's make it a little bit harder. How many numbers are there from 21 to 76? I can count them, but if I use the rule we just mentioned, it will be 76 minus 21, which is 55, and then add 1, so 56 numbers. The reason we add 1 at the end is to uh, account for the first number that we started with. So 76 minus 21, the difference between these two numbers is 55. That's how many numbers there are after 21 all the way to 76. That's the difference. Then we add 1 to account for the 21 that we started with. Okay, easy. Just wanted to make sure that you um, remember this before we start answering this question. Okay, now let's answer the question we have right here. I would first start to rec by recognizing that from 1 to 9, these are all one-digit numbers. So how many digits are there from the numbers 1 to 9? There are 9 digits. Why? Because there are 9 numbers. From 1 to 9, we have 9 numbers. Each number is just one digit, so we have 9 digits. Now, here it gets a little bit tricky. From 10 all the way to 99, why did I choose 10 to 99? Because these are the two digit numbers that we have. How many numbers are there from 10 to 99? 99 minus 10 is 89 plus 1. So we have 90 numbers. Numbers, not digits, okay? Times, each number has two digits. So 90 numbers times two digits each equals 180 digits. So, so far, I know that from 1 to 9 gives me 9 digits. From 10 to 99 gives me 180 digits. Then what? Let's continue. Now let's go to the three-digit numbers, starting by 100, and let's just take 100 numbers, okay? Let's not take too many, or I mean, let's stop before the number 200. So let's go from 100 to 199. How many numbers are there? Again, 199 minus 100 is 99, plus 1, that means there are 100 numbers from 100 to 199 inclusive. Each number has three digits. So 100 numbers times three digits each gives me 300 digits. Okay, great. 
So now we are getting there. Now I know that from 1 to 9, I have 9 digits. From 10 to 99, I have 180 digits. And from 100 to 199, I have 300 digits. Now let's add these numbers together. So 9 digits. Let me change the color. 9 digits plus 180 digits plus 300 digits equals 489 digits. So the last digit we have from the numbers we counted is the 489th, which is the 9 here and 199. The last one we counted has 489 digits. Okay, um, let me take this away so you don't get confused. Okay, you can um, start again at the beginning of the video and you'll see this note up here that I'm erasing right now. Now what? Now I would go slowly. Um, knowing that I have 489 digits so far and we're looking for the 500th, which means I'm very close. So let's start with the next number after 199 is 200. Now we already know that the 9 here is the 489th digit because that's the total number of digits we have, so it's the last one. That means that this 2 right here is the 490th digit. Then this 0 is 491. The following 0 is 492. Then the 2 right here will be the 493rd digit. Similarly, 202 will give me here the 496th digit. Similarly, 203, keep on counting, so 496 is here, 497, 498, then this 2 will give me 499th digit. Okay, we're looking for the 500th digit, remember? So what is the zero up here? It's the 500th digit. So the 500th digit equals zero. The answer is A.